Hi, I'm Walid Antar, Head of Audio of the Technology Dubai, one of the most biggest company for the AV in the Middle East. Uh, actually, today we have the privilege to, from our big partner, Thomson Music, uh, they sent us the PM3, the sister of our PM7. So today we'll discover the new feature that uh, is implemented in the new mixer. As you say, this, this form of this mixer is compact. It's good to be used for wedding, uh, corporate, lunch uh, product, uh, like so, something like this. So as I say, the, this mixer is a new generation of the PM revised system. This will have external DSP. As you said, this is 144 channel with uh, like 72 buses. It's, there is another one with a EX, I think it's more than 288 channel. It's very big. So this biggest screen, very good. The touch screen is a multi-touch, uh, multi I think. So from here we can multi-finger. And also, what I like is the new, uh, the, uh, the new, the add a new of, uh, thing, the, the multi-band operation. So we can control all of this with one touch. It's ratio changing, and also this, you can just cut and you boost. And a new feature that they add to this PM3 is also there there in the PM5. This is assign it button or a side screen or a side knob that, for example, you can keep it for your singer and using for all the fader. For example, push the fader 14, I can still have the mix one, for example, this is my mix, singer mix. So I can use it direct, it's more like shortcut for the, for the MX one. I can also change it to be like a mattress, to be like uh, anything else. So my, my, my now is Matrix One, for example. It's coming direct on the Matrix One, changing Matrix One also. And we still uh, we still have our sand on fader, like a normal CL, normal any kind of any Yamaha mixer. So from the screen here, I touch. I have all my mix like this, changing from here, for example. I have my second mix, or if, uh, even from the screen, I can touch direct to have like a quick way to send on fader. Okay. Uh, they still have the same, same insert, eight, eight spot of insert, four, four and four. So still even tight, for example, this I like it, the break, broadcast EY7. It's very good, by the way. Yeah. So, what else? Still having the 96 channel, uh, 96 kilohertz sample rate mixer. It's all common in the uh, PM7, P uh, PM, sorry, Revage system. As you see, the big format is just behind me. So, it's so up to you. You have a big gig, bring your uh, monster. You can use the PM7, like a, for example, FOH console, and use the PM3, like a monitor console, and using the same DSP of the PM7. So, or put it in the same loop. So I'd, like this, you can use the same input. So it's coming from the Dante, from a Rio on the stage, from something like this. We don't have to, using like a passive uh, splitter or active splitter, so no more this way. Uh, and uh, the Rivage also can be like a mirror of the PM7, like a backup system, but you can we can use it. So the Rivage PM3 have 120 channel coming for, from 144 channel from the DSP. 
and we have 48 mix and 24 matrix with stereo A and B and Q and monitor. This offering, I think, a lot of input output for this scale of, of mix, especially if we're talking about a replacement for the CL5 or a new generation, because CL5 is given what, 64 input and like a 24 uh, mix, eight, must, eight, eight matrix. So at most is a half of the CL. For I think the approximately same budget, we can, we can accede to the new generation. I think this Revash PM3 is the first one, I think, in the UE. Uh, so it will be great to join it to, to our PM7 to make like a full system. The good thing, the Yamaha and the PM Revash system, that is the weather. Here in Dubai, it's very hot. And I think this one of the rest mixer that can support this kind of dust, uh, hot, uh, humidity. We try a lot of mixer, uh, English one, uh, sometimes the fader is shaking. Uh, so this one is very stable. This is what we why we like the Yamaha uh, product. And now after doing a lot of show, especially in the Middle East now, KSA, UAE, Bahrain, a lot of bands now, international band became asking for the PM7. PM7, PM3, oh, especially the PM7 because that's what available on the market. Now with the PM3, other band will be more interesting to have it, especially for the format. Sometimes we don't have space to put the mixer. Sometimes we don't need the one, the, this lot of faders. This one is enough for a gig in the, on the scale of this mixer. Again, we would like to thank uh, Thompson Music Group for the chance that they give us to be the first one to touch this beauty and uh, hope that this corona will finish and the gig will come back again. Thank you.